Welcome to Team Wooly Sheep Reviews. I'm back. So what have I been up to? Well, been taking a, a bit of a break from filming and concentrated on work, usual thing. Been through COVID, done the usual. And thankfully, we're through the other side of it. So it's back to business. We'll get back into the uh, making videos and editing. I uh, just want to say that, you know, it does take a lot of time. I don't get paid for this and it is, uh, it is more of a hobby than anything else, so I hope you enjoy what I do, but as I learn things, I'd like to share the knowledge. Something I wanted to talk to you about is, is obviously I got a workshop and I do a bit of soldering. If you've been dabbling with soldering, then you'll know that, that the lead-based solders are probably a bit easier to solder with. So, with that in mind, we need to take some precautions. Now, if you set yourself up a, a bit of a soldering station, you'll have a soldering machine and a stand and you get these bits of sponge which can tend to be a bit dry. A little tip, an old fairy liquid bottle, squirt on a bit of water. Now when you're soldering, you'll see that there's a lot of smoke and that smoke is harmful. It's the resin from the flux and there's lead in there. So, how do we deal with that? Simple, you introduce one of these. And as you can see, it's an extract system with an active carbon filter. So it sucks the fumes into there. You're not breathing it in. And if you're not breathing it in, you don't get all the problems with the uh, snoz. The resin is particularly can affect the lining of your nasal cavity. It causes irritation, aggravation, infection. If you suffer from rhinitis, this is not good. So get yourself an extract, suck the fumes into there instead of into there. Uh, the lamp I've, I've got is just a just a clip-on clip-on lamp, so which I've clipped onto the bracket. So you go, I'm gonna have the lamp, but it, it makes life easier to see what you're soldering. So a little spotlight. I think this was from from IKEA. Little LED spot lamp. So I put that on there just so I can see when I'm working, illuminate it. So you can solder and it'll suck up all the fumes. No worries. But you can position it where you want it. It's on a on a convenient bracket clamped onto the desk, and it's adjustable to to position where you want it, and it blows the air out of there, out of the way. So simple, fumes in, fresh air out. There's lots of variations on the market. This one was from CPC, uh, Combined Precision Components. If you don't know where CPC is. So it used to be under the brand of Farnell. So the boys who works in electronics will go, ah, oh, Farnell, yeah, I remember Farnell. You had Farnell and RS were very popular. But CPC, they do lots of different offers, lots of workshop stuff, soldering. And it's actually by Duratool. So Duratool is the brand. And it's a bench-mounted ESD soldering fume extractor. 23 watt so it's a 23 watt fan so it's a fume extractor so obviously it doesn't extract to outside that would be the best option but kind of sometimes you need something to take the fumes away to protect yourself but something is better than nothing and this unit cost 29.95 under 40 dollars so you, you you can't complain about that that's uh you know that's a uh, that's quite cheap it is quite cheap and it's actually surprisingly good you've got to get it near to where you're soldering but before it was in my face it was at my nose it caused problems and i decided to to invest in one of these clamp it on the desk so i've got my dedicated soldering station here but it is quite quite handy to get 
your space set out with an extract, a soldering station in place and do a nice job of it. So we've all gone through COVID, the worries of it, the respiratory system has made us a little bit more aware. So protect yourself, buy yourself an extract. So it's a carbon filter, it is removable. So you can remove the filter to replace And I've added the I've added the, the lamp. It's from IKEA, so it's just a clip-on bench mounted inspection lamp with a switch by Dura Tool ESD safe. So I hope you found that handy. I'll put the links below. So obviously it's not a sponsored video. This is from me to you as something I found, something I found handy, cheap you may as well so i'm still into the uh model flying as you can see the planes everywhere and of course the quadcopters or drones as we might say so absolutely loving the seven inch quad as a camera rig kind of takes it all right it's not as stabilized the camera stabilized it's not a dji but it goes a lot faster and of course my x20s transmitter i've had a request to do a, a video um, setting up a receiver a specific type of receiver so that's coming soon thank you for watching team woolly sheep reviews so stay tuned and i'll catch up with you soon take care stay safe bye <music>